Today, I want to take a look at a draft in KT versus T1 over in the LCK. Now, both teams actually constructed solid on-theme compositions, but one has a clear thematic counter. Let's take a look. Also, 50% of you aren't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button for more Educational League content. KT start by first picking Narelle, which is a strong flex pick that indicates a dive comp. I think she's much stronger in jungle than support currently, because she's easily countered in bot lane, so hopefully KT go in that direction. T1 answer with Jace and Rumble, a decent rotation. The only thing I don't like here is blind picking both solo lanes so early, which could result in some big punishes from the side of KT. With this rotation, T1 have established scaling and poke around objectives. KT second rotate Nico and Nautilus. The early Nautilus pick is strange because there are a lot of counters left open, so we'll look for KT to ban Braum at the very least in second rotation. I would have preferred KT just counter top on B3 and save support for second phase. Anyways, T1 B3 Maokai, which is good and on theme with Rumble and Jace. Through the first pick phase, both teams are on theme, with KT wanting full dive 5v5 and T1 wanting scaling poke. T1 are 4 Varus, which again is good and on theme. He will likely go basically Thality build this game because he already has Rumble and Maokai for AP damage. KT then round out with a Renekton and Zeri rotation. This is really their only blunder of the draft. They self counterpicked with Renekton into Rumble. The Croc is really going to struggle in lane and will get outscaled by Rumble very hard. That really is the biggest problem with KT's draft is scaling. If they don't get massively ahead by 20 minutes, they will likely just lose the game. Anyways, T1 R5 counter Braum, which somehow KT didn't ban after blind picking Nautilus. As you can see overall, both drafts have clear identities and ways of playing the game. KT want to find a priority target and dive on them with all their engage tools, whereas T1 want to get to the objective first and poke out KT before the fight kicks off. Two clear goals in mind for each team, and it's honestly good to see two on-theme drafts in the same game. Even though KT's draft especially isn't something that I would ever pick, at least it's coherent in thought process. And especially, it counters T1's comp very nicely. Since T1 wants to sit back and poke around objectives, if KT are decisive enough and just pull the trigger instantly, they can engage on T1 very easily with no counterplay. So KT have a very easy time playing around objectives this game, assuming that they're on the same page in communication and that they're decisive in their callouts. Thanks for watching. See you next time.